Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you about a bunch of mathematical functions available in PostgreSQL. Uh, I've chosen to do this in SQL shell because I just want to simply demonstrate what each function does and what is the role of it. So I'll be start starting off by an absolute function that gives you the absolute value. So to, to use the absolute function, you have to just write select abs minus 15.6 and you see that it gives me the absolute value of the function next thing that we're going to talk about is the cube root so you could just write uh, select cbrt and uh, a floating number and you see that i get the cube root as three so next i'll be talking about the seal function it gives you the largest possible integer or the ceiling of that number like uh, like you support it gives you the highest number of uh, a particular number that is passed like suppose i enter 45.7 so it will give me the ceiling or the highest integer possible uh, according to the given parameters so see it gives me 46 or the highest integer the nearest highest integer to this so uh, this is the fun this is the this is the work of the seal function similar we have a flow function if you write flow you will see i get the lowest value that is 45 so this is the value of the seal and the flow function to give the highest and the lowest value possible um, according to the parameters that we have passed next i'll tell you about the degrees function the degrees function basically converts radians to degrees so you could just write uh, select uh, degrees and you can convert this and you see that uh, 0 0.5 radians is 28.64 degree so this is how you convert radians to degree next I'll tell you how to use the log functions that is select ln 2.0 that is natural log you do oops I forgot see this gives you the natural log of uh, 2.0 this is, that is 0 0.693 secondly you could do just uh, log to the base 10 that is select log of 100 you see that I get I'll get the value of 2 so yeah so this is the log to the base 10 so if you if you want you can specify the base and the value of the log by passing two parameters in this that is uh, if I pass uh, 2.0 here uh, oops uh, 2.0 and then you pass something like 64 then you see that this is the base 2.0 and the 64 is the value whose log you want so you see I get 6 so this is how you find up log when you want to specify some base to it so next thing I'll be telling you is to use the pi that is select pi it will give me the value of pi so you see it is 3.14159 so this is the value of pi next I'll be telling you the round function if you want to round off a particular value that you provide that is select round and like suppose I do it 44 42.4 so you see that it will round me to 42 and you see that it gets rounded off to 42 if I had something like 0.8 it would have rounded off to 43 so it gives me the rounded off numbers now suppose I want a rounded off number to a certain decimal place so I'll be just using this I want it to two decimal places so you see I get it 88 so you could specify either a single point a round point or you could specify uh, how many decimal places do you want to be rounded off so this is how you do a uh, round in PostgreSQL in in fact in any other SQL languages so uh, next thing uh, I'll be telling you about is the sign if you want to return the sign as a minus one one or zero if your number if is a negative positive or zero then you use the sign function that is select sign of uh, minus 8.4 now this is a negative number so it should return minus one so you see it's minus one now if I pass on zero you see it will return zero 
and if I pass a positive uh, 9.8 so you see that it turns me 1 so this is the function of the sine function next I'll be telling you how to generate a ran random number in PostgreSQL that is uh, select random straight away and you will see that generates a random number between 0 and 1 so 0 0.91, 0 0.677, 0 0.46, 0 0.214 and blah 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 so you see that uh, it generates random numbers between 0 and 1 so you could also find out the sine cos and uh, the inverse sine inverse cos using postgres so just to select cos uh, 30 so you would see that it gives me the value cos uh, 40 so similarly you could do a sine 40 or a sine 30 and for uh, inverse you could just add a uh, oops mm, out of range out of range oops I just forgot that the a sine function takes a value between 0 and 1 so if you do 0 0.5 you see I get this similarly you could do a a cos that is inverse cos so it will give me the value of the inverse cos this is in radians so you have to specify a value between uh, 0 and 1 so guys thank you for watching this drill subscribe for more and uh, stay tuned